Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. So in today's video, I'm going to just be playing around with makeup, kind of just doing like a get ready with me, but not really. I'm not really getting ready for anything. I just decided that I wanted to do my makeup. The little twist on this video though is that this video is actually sponsored by e.l.f. Cosmetics. What the heck? I would have never thought e.l.f. would be sponsoring me or like noticed me. Their stuff is so affordable yet really good. They actually sent over some items. I did get to pick out some of them and I'm going going to just be being honest and like telling you if their stuff is good or not before we get too far into the video i did want to mention that i'm making a picture wall over there but it's like halfway done it's not actually done yet so it kind of looks weird right now but anyway they included some of just their like best sellers in here but then I also got to pick out some other stuff just to try out and see how they are. Also, e.l.f. is vegan and cruelty-free. So if you're vegan or cruelty-free, then you can still use these products. And also, it's just an added bonus for when you're buying makeup products. Anyway, let's just go ahead and get started with the makeup. Because I literally haven't sat down and done my makeup in so long. Let's see how... Let's see if my abilities have just fallen. Hopefully... I still have some talent left. I don't know. We'll see. I literally haven't filmed in this setup in so long, let alone like done my makeup. <laughs> so I guess we'll just see what happens. This is one of their best sellers and it's their Hello Hydration Face Cream with Hyaluronic Acid and Peptide Complex. Hyaluronic acid is really good for your skin. I'm not like a skin expert, but I do know that it's really good for your skin. And it seems like every time I use hyaluronic acid, my skin gets better and none of my products have that in it right now that I'm using and my skin obviously is just not that great but this is skincare so it's not like I can really tell right away I do know how I like my moisturizers and this is really good next I have been really excited to try this out and I just haven't tried it out yet it's their poreless putty primer I know a little bit ago it was like a big thing on YouTube how they compared it to the Tatcha silk canvas but I haven't tried that one, so I really can't compare it. Also, this is my first sponsorship, and, like, I would not do a sponsorship if I haven't, like, tried out the product. Or, like, I wouldn't accept a sponsorship not knowing what the products were like. But I can definitely trust e.l.f., and I've tried their products before, so. It doesn't really mattify my skin a lot. It's a little, like... Not greasy feeling, but like, I don't know, it can be hydrating too, at the same time, kind of. I don't know how to explain it, but I guess it just matters how the foundation lays on top of it. A little bit scared on like the foundation stuff, but we'll just, we'll stress about that when we get there, but we're not there yet. I think I'm actually going to do brows first, because I like to do my brows, then my eyes, then my foundation, because if there's like fallout with the eyeshadow, then... I won't have to like mess up my foundation or anything. I have one brow product to try out and this is their wow brow product and actually before I didn't realize they had this product until now but that's just what it looks like. Hopefully this is my shade. I got the shade taupe but it's kind of hard to match my brows since my hair is like I don't even know what color my hair is so we'll just see how it goes. On camera, you can't really like tell. It's not meant to like really fill in your brows. It's just kind of like to define them a little bit more than they were before. Yeah, this also has fibers in it. So me being someone that doesn't really love to do their brows, um, I like this product since it's really natural. Now, I didn't get like an actual eyeshadow primer, so I'm just gonna use this concealer and I am excited to try out this concealer. It's their um, 16 hour camo concealer. Definitely scared of what shade it's gonna be, but I got the shade medium peach. They have this thing on their website where you can like put in the brand of your concealer you use and then the shade that you use in that concealer and it'll try to like best match the concealer um, on, in their line. Guys, it's literally been so long since I've done my makeup. Like, I haven't used my eyeshadow brushes or anything like that in so long. I have heard great things about this concealer, though. All right, I think it's going to be a good shade for my face. The eyeshadow palette we're going to be using is their Opposites Attract palette. I think this is such a pretty palette, and there's, like, a lot of color selection, so that's why I got it. I also really like how their shades are named. There's, like, ideas of what color combinations to do, but I think I'm just going to try to figure out one by myself. Okay, let me go ahead and do one eye off camera so I know what I'm gonna do and then I'll be back. 
Okay, <laughs> this is the look that I came up with. Um, okay, it's not amazing right now. We're gonna do the other eye and then lashes and liner will definitely help out the look. I kind of wish that I did a different color combination, but we're just gonna go ahead and go for it. I'm gonna show you what I did and we're just gonna go with it. First of all, I took this shade, it's called Fresh, but I'm just kinda using that as my transition shade. Literally by judging off this eye, you're probably like, why am I even following this girl's tutorial? But it's gonna, it's gonna work, it's gonna be fine. And then what I did after that was I just took some of this shade called Sassy. I kinda just added some color pretty much where I put that transition shade maybe a little lower though so it's not like all over my eye i mainly just wanted to try out the purple in this palette because like i don't know how i couldn't try out the purple out of all these colors like i don't know the purple and then like this pinkish shade i don't know i just really wanted to try it out after that i went straight in with the purple <laughs> it's called easy going but i just kind of built it up on the outer part of my eye okay my camera ran out of storage, just like normal. Like I was saying, I just kind of am building up the purple. And this is kind of a big brush for this, but whatever. And I just blended it the whole way, but mainly for focusing on the outer part. Since we're just going to cut the crease anyway. <laughs> so there's that. But then I'm just going to go in with this smaller brush and the concealer again. Cut that crease. I didn't do too much, but I just a little half cut crease and then we're gonna get back into the palette And I didn't really know what shade like shimmery shade to use with the purple I mean, I guess this one could have been pretty but I just went in with this one. It's called Clever and I just took a really tiny brush and put it right on top of where we put the concealer I kind of got a little bit muddy but that was my fault. <laughs> now we're gonna move on to eyeliner. And I think eyeliner and lashes are really what just set the look apart. Not apart, but like, just kind of make it a lot better. I got the e.l.f. H2O proof eyeliner pen. So, waterproof. Okay, wow. This is a good black liner. And I'm just gonna do I just kind of did a little mini wing. Um, if you can't tell, the eye the eyeshadow didn't really stick to that part of my eye. Our eyelashes will cover it. Guys, if you remember, um, I actually did a full face using only elf products a while ago like a while while back I, that just like came to mind because i'm about to use these eyelashes i don't know why just now i thought of it but i do remember doing that and now here we are freaking sponsored by elf what my next step are lashes and look at how pretty these eyelashes are they're the faux mink lashes in social butterfly these ones just looked so pretty on their website and I bet they will be pretty on. Guys, literally you're gonna roast me on how bad this eyeshadow look is. And I know it's really bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I definitely should have thought this through a little bit better. So don't bully me, please. Elf eyelashes also come with this, which are actually really nice if you don't really know how to put on eyelashes that well. It's easy to kind of just like stick them on. I've kind of gotten the hang of putting on eyelashes. I can do it pretty easily now, so I'm not going to use it. They are really long, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim them, put them on, and I'll be back. Okay, there are the eyelashes on. I definitely need to trim them more. <laughs> Oops. Okay, you know what? It's fine, guys. I am sorry that I look like this, but I'm gonna blend the eyelashes with my normal eyelashes. And now I'm using their length and volume mascara. Obviously we won't really be able to tell too much how it is, but the one is just kind of shorter. I'm just going to apply it to blend my regular lashes. But now I'm gonna do foundation and all of that fun stuff. My whole face makeup, which is what I was most looking forward to. 
let's just hope that this is my right shade i can't promise anything but it's their flawless finish foundation and it's in the shade natural it says fair light with neutral undertones so surely that will be right i don't know hopefully <laughs> i'm really hoping actually oh gosh that's a powder brush i'm gonna use this like flat top it's kind of like slanted tilted wait i don't know i'm gonna use a brush because my beauty blenders are all dirty that is what it looks like it looks kind of thick anyway let's hope it covers this up why is it actually kind of looking light? Definitely thought it'd be too dark, but it might oxidize. Okay, so that was two pumps. I feel like I could have used less, but the foundation is kind of thick. So I don't know if I could have used less or not, but it did cover. I look like a ghost though, which is actually surprising because I thought it'd be too dark but of course we still have to give it time to dry so we'll have to see my forehead is gonna look so light oh my gosh we go sleep yikes it's hard to match your foundation online though but of course they have it in stores too so i mean it's not the only place you can find it anyway i have like half a pump left on my hand but that's okay i don't need to add any more i don't think so, we're just going to go back into the concealer, the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer, and just go for it. And actually, I think this concealer might be darker than my foundation, because it's like medium peach, I think. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to use my beauty blender now. Oh my gosh, I literally cannot take myself seriously. I look, I feel like it looks a little bit better in person, but on camera, I am looking so bad. <laughs> oh well, it's fine. We're just gonna set my face and try to forget about it. The setting powder that I'm using is the matte setting powder and I just got it in the shade light. It's kind of just how it comes. It does a little turning thing and I'm just gonna pour the powder here. move on to bronzer oh shoot definitely forgot that i had this brush they also sent me a brush and this is their flawless face brush which i think i might just use should have probably used that for powder i'm probably just gonna use this for blush actually for bronzer i got their i don't know i think this is their primer infused bronzer and i got it in perpetually tan so let's hope we can make ourselves not look so ghostly but without looking crazy I mean I actually like that bronzer so that's good but we're gonna blush up the face now which will hopefully bring some life back into it this is their kind of same line it's their primer infused line and it's in the shade always cheeky again i'm just gonna use their flawless face brush to apply it okay i like the shade it's pretty and i also like this brush it literally like did it so easily and like blended out really easily one of the last steps is highlighter so this is their highlighter in the shade white gold i'm gonna use this brush and go for it okay it doesn't seem to be like a really like smooth formula kind of more of on the dry side but it is still working. Like it kind of takes a little bit more to build it up. But once you build it up, it's really pretty. Now I'm not going to go ham on the lower lash line because I don't want to look too insane. But I am going to do a little bit and I think I don't want to do the purple because I don't want to look too crazy. I'm just going to do... This kind of orangey pinky shade oh my gosh why do i look why is it looking like that okay maybe we do need a little bit of the purple I'm gonna go back in with the mascara and do my lower lash line 
And then I got two of their um, lip lacquers. It's just in the shade clear. Definitely is a lip lacquer. It's like nice and thick. Okay, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, thank you so much to Elf for sponsoring this video. Literally weird to say, like I can't even believe that's an actual thing. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Also, check out the links below for any of these e.l.f. products. Well, I will have everything I use linked down below. But anyway, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.